Okay guys, so we finally made it, finally got the uh, quadricopter stuff in the mail and finally got it in. So we're going to be checking out how all this is going to go together. So what we've got is we have, this one is a 250 millimeter, I believe is what it's called, and that's measured on the on on the angle side of it. I'm just going to show you the parts for now and show you essentially what all the pieces are and some different components and whatnot. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and start assembling it. I'll probably come back on the camera as I get different pieces um, assembled and then we'll uh, I'll show you some of the more integral pieces and whatnot and kind of my methodology for what I believe is going to be putting this together. Um, this is the first time I've ever built one of these and put one of these together. So um, this could be interesting. So I've got a lot of parts here. Um, ought to be cool. So let's go through um, a lot of our parts. Okay. So first off, you need to power this with something. I read uh, a lot of different things and recommended that this, uh, this Luminaire uh, lithium polymer battery is very good. Um, what it is, is it's this little, little guy. Let me set this back here. Uh, it's a little lithium battery. Okay. It's 1300 milliamp hour. Um, is a pretty good one. Oh, and these connectors, I, f I forgot to set that out here. Uh, let's see if I can get the little baggie of them. I purchased a baggie of those as well. We'll set those right there. So that way, because you got to wire in the other, the other side that plugs into this. So you need those connectors too. So what I may do is put a parts list at the bottom of this video. So that way you guys can see all the different parts that I ordered for all of this. Um, just in case if you want to build the exact same one as me. Um, this one, I think this one came from China, which, you know, all the good stuff in the world comes from China, apparently. So, um, but anyway, this one is a racing one. I'll show you one of the pieces. It is actually carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see that. And it actually is the real thing. It really is carbon fiber. And so, it's built for racing. Essentially, I wanted one that was durable and one that was going to be strong because we might be, you know, mounting cameras to it and things like that. So this is the main airframe. These little pieces are the uh, support struts. They do this sort of a deal. When I get it together, eventually it will do that. And that's going to be the quad. Um, what I was saying was how they measure these is basically on the angle. At least that's what I've read and have been told is they measure these on the angle. So the 250 millimeters is from like motor to motor essentially. So that's how that's going to go. Um, those are the different motors. Um, it also has a little bag of standoffs and whatnot. So this will actually be up here and whatnot. It'll actually, um, believe it or not, how this is going to go is these two pieces will sandwich these guys. These guys are going to go in between kind of like that and it's going to sandwich in between and then this guy will go on standoffs and will stand up above is how this is actually going to go down when I put it together. And like I said, I'll stop the camera and probably show you uh, show you uh, it in stages as I'm putting it together. Motors, I've got um, four motors, obviously, because it's a quadricopter. Um, they are labeled, some are counterclockwise, some are clockwise, and to help with that, they give you a black and a silver capped motor, so that way you can keep track of which one you want to make the, uh, uh, the counterclockwise and one the clockwise, okay? And then similarly with blades, I've actually got two sets of blades for these. Um, these are all 5030, which what that means, I believe, if I'm right, I don't know if you can see that, and yeah, you probably can't, but it says 5030, uh, yeah, 5030R, and what that is, is basically it is the, um, well, 5030R and 5030. Uh, one is a counterclockwise blade, and the other blade is the uh, clockwise blade, but the 50, I believe, means they're 50 millimeter blades by a uh, 30 degree pitch is what that is. So you can change out the blades. You can even buy extenders for these that will make them extend even longer. So that way you can get bigger and bigger blades on it. Obviously more blades, more thrust, uh, more pitch, more lift, you know, all that jazz, all that aeronautical stuff that I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so, okay, so I got the four motors here. These are uh, 23 kV motors. Now that doesn't mean kilovolt. When I first saw it, I thought that meant kilovolt. And I was like, dang, these things can take a whopping. No, that's telling you the uh, uh, how fast they spin. They're about a 2300 RPM, uh, I think. Uh, you can, those of you that are really into this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's 2300 RPM is what the 2300 kV means. Um, if not, I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments. Also, um, it came 
with this, uh, which is what's called a power distribution board. Um, it's just a little circuit board where you can solder on your uh, battery terminals and you can solder on all the motors and everything, or at least uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but solder all your power stuff too. It came with this. I went ahead and bought this one that's a little bit nicer, at least I think, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to bolt it um, on the, the whole pattern here. It doesn't really match a pattern there. So I don't know, as I'm going, I may look at it and if it's not going to work, um, it, I may just have to return this or something, or yeah, I'll just throw it in the, throw it in a box. Maybe I'll make another one of these quadrocopters for my kids or something. I don't know. So I'll keep it, uh, for the next one. But what, what I liked about this, uh, guy was it went with these. Now you have four of these, these are ESCs or electric, uh, what is it? Speed controls. Yeah. So electric speed controls. So these are your speed controllers. Okay. That control, control your motor speed. So your motor basically plugs into this, this powers up and also plugs into your flight controller, which we'll get to in a minute. And the flight controller is what tells this, uh, how fast to spin the motor. Okay. So you'll have four of these, uh, one for each motor. Okay. Now these, I believe are the 12 amp ones so you want to get some pretty powerful ones just in case you want to switch out motors and whatnot but these are a these are a 12 amp uh, 12 amp deal so there are plenty for this and even uh, some higher ones I think 12 amp is good enough so that's what those are um, oh and what I was talking about this power distribution board is this board is built to where you can actually set all of these or there's spots and it's space where all four of these can sit in here. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, like I said, because, uh, I can't find a mounting place for this, but that's how this is supposed to work. These set in here and then this like mounts to the bottom of your, of your, uh, uh, aircraft here and then that way it holds it still so, but I don't know if that's really gonna really gonna work or not there's some other pieces they even give you a frontal like air air dam looking thing and this is for if you're gonna do FPV which we may add to this later which is the first person video you can put a mount a camera to this and then this sets in the front like this is kind of like well really this sits this way but it sits in the front so it has, it has a mounting point. This actually sandwiches between the two pieces. It goes in here and then the other piece goes on and you bolt the camera to where the camera faces out. But uh, in any case, um, we may do that later. I didn't order the FPV kit, so we may do that later. Um, these are kind of like some legs for, um, for like landing gear. These uh, hook on to these guys. So that way when it lands, it has something you know to land on besides just slamming the motors and everything down on the ground. So that way it'll stay up off the ground. Then for the flight controller, this came with a flight controller, this kit that I bought, but I don't like it. The one that I've seen that is awesome, has rave reviews, is this little guy. This is the Naze, N-A-Z-E, they call it Naze uh, 32 is what this is. This has, I believe, accelerometers and gyroscopes on it. Um, as well as then a little a little controller. I haven't actually looked up the parts yet to realize whether, whether or not it, uh, uh, what kind of microcontroller it has on it. Right? I mean, honestly, I haven't really looked at it. Uh, it's, it's an STM 32 F10 3A. So I think it's an ARM. I think it's an ARM processor is what the processor is. And then the others are, are you know, probably, I don't know. I can't, I can't see it in the light, but they're probably, like I said, one's a magnometer and the other one, I think, or maybe it's not a magnometer, maybe it's an accelerometer and a gyroscope. I think it's what's on it. But any case, this thing is really, 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 really cool. It can do PPM, which I won't be able to because I bought a, a fairly inexpensive, um, uh, transmitter and receiver and it doesn't do PPM, but that's not a big deal. We'll just solder the six channels onto these pads that are already provided for you. So shouldn't be too big of a deal, but this will mount perfectly right up onto the uh, deal here. And uh, we'll plug that all in here for too long, but that's the naze. Also there is, here's the transmitter I am using. See if I can grab it. I'm using the uh, FlySky FS T6 receiver and transmitter. So I've got the receiver here. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. This is the, uh, the transmitter, okay? And then this is the receiver it comes with. Cool thing about this guy is it is reprogrammable, or you can bind it. You can buy multiple of these. So if you have multiple copters, you have this cool bind key that's on the back here. And they come, this one that comes with it is bound to this remote. 
but that's what this little little jumper that's in here for is you put this jumper in, in in one of the spots on this thing and then you press this bind key and you can actually bind this remote to different transmitters so that way you can have multiple copters and only have to pay uh, the price for one uh, transmitter okay so that's basically the transmitter and the receiver the receiver will hook up to the nays and that's how we'll be able to control all the motors with the uh, transmitter. Okay, so guys, I think that's it. Oh, and number one, we're gonna be looking at, since this thing could basically crash, slam into things, it's probably gonna have lots of vibration because of the, 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 the turbulent wind and whatnot that's being created by this thing. So we're definitely gonna take very good care in making sure that things are well equipped, well fixed, um, well, um, uh, cushioned if there's any parts that need to have dampening in them or anything like that we're gonna take great care in doing that and so I highly highly recommend to grab some Loctite 271 red thread locker the red is the strongest one there's a blue the blue is fairly strong pretty good um, but if you want it to wear I mean it's like the screw will never come back out pretty much you're gonna use this Loctite um, red uh, thread locker and that's what we're going to use because we want this to be very very strong We don't want screws falling out of it if we crash it uh, into the ground or something We want everything to hold together as tightly as possible. So we're going to be using some of that And guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started putting this thing together and I will show you um, As I step through it, I'm going to put together the the chassis first and then we'll end up mounting motors and I'll show you different uh pictures of it as we go. So I'll be back here in a second once I get this thing built up.